What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be talking about another sci-fi action B-movie called Class of 1999. This was pretty interesting type of film. Definitely different than what I'm used to ta talking about. It was released by Lightning Entertainment, which is actually a division of Best Drone. Uh, released May 11th, 1999. Starring Stacey Keach and Malcolm McDowell. Uh, written by C. Courtney Joyner and produced and directed by Mark L. Lester. He's also done other films. He has quite a few B-movies and some big movies to his credit, like Commando, uh, Firestarter, Class of 1984, and Showdown in Little Tokyo. Had a budget of $5.2 million, around there, but this was a flop when it first came out. Uh, it only made like $2.4 million, so yeah. Uh, Class of 1999. Now, some people say this is a sequel to Class of 1984. I can't say anything about that because I've never actually seen that film. But just going off of what this film is, basically Class of 1999 is about, well, it came out in 1990. It takes place in 1999 in Seattle, but uh, gangs and crime are sort of like riddled through Seattle and uh, it's getting harder and harder for the government to uh, control it all and like keep the schools open they're heavily secured and that so the the high school uh, principal hires three a company that has three robots that are gonna help that are disguised as humans to help enforce the rules and gain, keep control of it where they actually, an evil scientist overrides them, they go mad, and they try to kill off the teens. But in the midst of that, there's still the gang warfare and stuff, and people and fighting over drugs and stuff like that through the, throughout the duration of the film. So, yet, kind of a, basically what <laughs> modern cities deal with. Mixed with a little bit of futuristic stuff. It's pretty actually interesting. I was actually pretty impressed with this film. When I first read about it. And I know when I talked about it just now. It probably doesn't sound that good. But it ended up being pretty fun. And an interesting watch. Um, yeah. So basically. Uh, things I liked about this film. Is uh, there's a lot of cool action sequences. And everything like that. I absolutely love that. The story actually is pretty well like the characters are well developed it's a pretty well rounded story and uh they definitely focus on everything pretty much uh equally so it's not always just focusing on the killer teacher robots but not always focusing on the gangs and stuff like that because uh the film takes place because because there's a new high high potent drug out called i think it's called ammo it looks like a bullet and then they take and you snort it and you get like high and drunk at the feeling and super euphoric now I, now nowadays that sounds very generic the type of story but back then I, I don't really see very many 80s movies doing that so i thought that was pretty interesting and uh but uh, with that part uh they do sort of film i some of the gang war scenes were a little long, I thought. They could have, like, cut them down a bit. They kind of just added to the body count for no reason for that. Um, but other than that, the whole story and the action and stuff was really good. Now, the acting, half of it's hit and miss. Malcolm McDowell is really good. Stacey Keach is really good. Some of the young teens, terrible. But overall, uh, they... It does make up for it in how well the practical effects and everything are in this film and um, how the characters progress and help each other out throughout the film and stuff. It's very uh, a humbling sort of watch and as you can see them progress and it has some interesting twists and turns in it. So yeah, Class of 1999 I thought was really interesting. Definitely way different than I was expecting and it is a lot of I thought it was a lot of fun and this is more for like the people who like 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 escape from New York and uh Robocop and stuff like that it's sort of like those two blended together with a little bit of like warriors sort of style uh game fighting and stuff mixed in with there just for fun um with uh some mediocre acting some really good actors so you kind of get the best of both worlds almost um yeah class 1999 
I actually really enjoyed though. So I'm going to give this one four and a half out of five. Uh, another really surprise hit for me. Um, definitely one I think more people should check out and not sleep on. I know it's not, the story sounds boring, but trust me, it is actually a lot of fun. You can find it pretty much anywhere right now. I found it in a DVD like horror pack, basically. Uh, one of those like eight film packs. I found it in one of those and checked it out. And it's actually surprisingly really good so definitely check it out trailers linked down below like always my instagram is always linked down below too where i post clips of films i'm going to review in my, on my story uh yeah films i'm going to review in the future on my story i also had the title and a hashtag somewhere in the video clip just so if you want to find it or try to guess what i'm going to review next you could do that i do that just for fun also i put the sub genre of film on there too just so uh you know in case it's something you don't you're not interested in or not i don't have people complaining so make sure you follow me on instagram to stay in the loop uh like this video share it somewhere people are aware of it and can check it out we can keep these come these uh classics in our minds and uh on the streaming services so the later on down the road all the companies can't just per like tell us what to watch let's keep uh yeah that good um yeah, also make sure you comment down below if you've seen it, your opinions on this film. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, make sure you subscribe because you never know what I'm going to talk about next. And if you have any other any films at all that you want to hear my opinions on, comment those down below too. That's, I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. So, yeah, but definitely check out Classic 1999. Way better than I thought it was going to be. It's a good 80s one. Acting's pretty bad and there's some pretty cheesy lines, but it's still... A really fun time so with that i'll see you in the next review who knows what i'm gonna do next i don't so yeah till the next one cheers